All right, this is it. This is the last step in making the cheesy studio studio look nice. So this adventure really began when Audrey and I moved into the new place and discovered that while spacious, it looked kind of like a prison. And I don't know, it's an interesting vibe for sure, but I felt we could do better. The one piece that I needed yet is a table. Thankfully, an Ikea trip made that all come together and the car didn't even break down. It's, it's been a great day to say the least. So, I, I've been doing my research on this table for quite some time, but interestingly enough, it wasn't on display in Ikea, so who knows what I'm actually gonna get. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So this is super light, it's made out of bamboo. Isn't that pretty? Hi, Vito. Audrey won Tower Wars. Yay, I love Tower Wars. Wow. This is nice. So yeah, uh, we, we, we've hopped all over the place in the past. May, June, July, August, se September, October, November. Seven months. So we started filming a lot of these videos basically in the studio when I was back in school, which was fantastic because I had basically an infinite number of lights at my disposal. I had a huge space, could get some, just, just all the gear I could ever want. And then I went home to the Lego space, right? Which is the perfect environment, but I had nothing. And so we had probably the worst sound hopefully we'll ever hear on this channel. Cool yellow is just a part I don't have a lot of. And, and then we came here and you know, it started out rough, right? Like I said, it kind of looks like a dungeon. This is what it actually looks like right now. We had our living room lamp about, about right here and then a bounce right here. And it, I mean, it still, looked, it still looked terrible. But we tried, we tried really hard to make it look nice. Things have come a long way. It's been, it's been super fun because I've never had like a, this really nice looking space like this. Obviously I loved my space back in my parents' home and it was perfectly optimized for building, but it was, you know, it was, it was practical. It wasn't pretty and that's what I love about this. In order to change the space from a dungeon to something a little nicer, the first thing that had to go was the wall. The wall was just, it was white brick. So I got these foam things off Amazon. They, they're so slick. Audrey and I put these things up, painted them a nicer color than white. So they're not reflective. They look pretty effective when they're kind of blurry in the background. And it, it's just, it's nice to have that warmer color <laughs> other than the white helps the shelves pop out a little bit more. Thanks, Audrey, for helping me put those up. No problem, my pleasure. <laughs> and so I've got the shelves up on either side, which have mocks and other things, just the few things that I have built together around here. I left this empty space right behind me, which, you know, my head usually fills for better or worse, but I wanted to do the logo. To really sell this as cheesy studios, but in college, I was, well, first of all, I was known for my love of Lego, of course, but I was also known for my love of pink foam. If Kurt Paulson taught me one thing in college, it's that you can do anything with a little bit of pink foam. To make this thing, I literally just used a two by four section of this pink insulation foam you can find at any hardware store. And the cheapest exact zero knife I could find at Menards. I'm not much of a math guy, so I more or less eyeballed the thing. And all things considered, it worked out pretty well. On a budget, this is great, and I'm really happy with how this turned out. So this is where it starts. This is the beginning of, of great things. Like... More Lego. Mo more Lego. It's never been easier for me to turn on the camera and, and make videos, so... You can look forward to a lot more coming your way. Thank you for joining me on this journey and putting up with the dungeon and the terrible audio and, and all the other quirks as, as I learned my way through this. It's been a fantastic journey and it's only just begun.